There was a super entitled influencer, if that's what you want to call them, that was in my YouTube live yesterday. It was just so rude and I have to tell you guys about it because it was honestly just so laughable. Hey Dusties, welcome back to our video. And before I get started, this is a $5 USD commission for I believe you pronounce it Gianni. Thank you so much for your order. If you guys want to order a GFX commission, if you want it featured in one of my videos, make sure to order with link in the description. Now getting started, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I host like a YouTube live stream or a premiere or something like that, and it's for like one of my videos obviously, and somebody comes in the chat and makes it all about themselves, okay? This happens a lot. There'll be people who like come into my chat and they're like, guys, I just posted like a YouTube GFX tutorial, like go watch it now. Girl, stop advertising in my premiere. Get out of here, okay? Uh, to me, that is just so rude. Like somebody has put time and effort into making content and they're trying to showcase it to their audience and you're trying to make the moment about you. Like it's just, it's weird. And sometimes because I do have a couple of creator friends or like mutuals that are verified on YouTube, they'll pop into my live premiere and they'll talk a little bit and it's usually good. Anyway, so yesterday there's this person who comes into my live chat. I have no idea who they are. Their name is just like some generic girl name. I'm like, okay, whatever. And they have a check mark. And the thing I feel like is sometimes people with check marks who come into my live chat, not all of them, but sometimes they'll think because they have a check mark, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, guys, somebody who's verified is in my is in my live. Oh my god. No. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care. Okay? Like if you're somebody I know and you're a mutual, cool. But if you don't have a check mark, it's the same thing. Like, I don't know why people expect to be treated like they're better than because they have a YouTube check mark. Because not gonna lie, half the time people with YouTube check marks now are just people who YouTube short spam random content that isn't even theirs. Like, I don't know, the whole like entitlement of like, guys, like I have a YouTube check mark, like pay attention to me, I'm so special. Girl, no, you're not, sit down. Anyway, so I'm saying hi to people in my premiere. That's usually what I do. I'll be like, hey, and I mention their name. I'm like, how are you doing today? Are you having a good day? How's your week going? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just trying to like chat with people because I feel like that's nice. This person keeps like spamming the chat, like just like saying stuff. They're like, yeah, I don't even watch this girl. Like, I don't even know I'm here. Like, yeah, I'm just like really bored. Like, I, I don't even remember subscribing to her. Like, obviously just trying to like get attention. And obviously they expected me to like respond to them because they're checkmarked, but I was being, I was like, whatever. So I ignore them and I just start like responding to other people. This obviously makes them mad. So they put like a little comment in the live chat. They're like, hey Toast, like, do you know who I am? No, girl, I do not know who you are. Like, the whole, like, entitlement of, like, um, sorry, like, do you, like, know who I am? <laughs> and so I was, like, oh, my God, this is my chance. So I was, like, um, no, sorry, I don't know who you are. Because I'm, like, this could be, like, a humbling experience. Perfect. No, this person's, like, oh, well, you've, like, probably seen my videos because I have, like, almost half a million subscribers. Okay, and? And? And so I like, I'm like curious, I'm like, probably not. Like, I don't recognize your name, but maybe. And so I look at their YouTube channel, it's just somebody who YouTube short spams. And like, I'm not talking about like YouTube shorts creators as a whole, because there's some YouTube shorts creators like TikTok editors who are really talented or people who make commentary content or Murder Mr. 2 content that make original content. There's no issue with YouTube shorts creators, but people who spam YouTube shorts and just like, like this person, their like go-to video is to grab like a screenshot of like, what would you rather? A million dollars? Uh, never ending food? Um, like, you know, like one of those like weird prompts from like Reddit and they just put it on a sh YouTube short with their character dancing in the background and call that content. To me, just mindlessly posting stuff that isn't even yours to YouTube shorts is not content, whatever. And so I look at their channel and I'm not discrediting their follower count. Obviously it takes a lot of effort to gain 500,000 subscribers. And that's not me like being like, guys, like, oh my God, like whatever, no. But like, there's a difference between gaining 500,000 subscribers because you make long form content and quality content and like quality YouTube shorts and getting 500,000 subscribers because you YouTube short spam random stuff that kids mindlessly just want to look at. Like there's a difference between being an actual content creator and just posting random stuff from the internet. And so anyways, I was like, no, like, sorry, like, I, I've never seen your content. I don't usually watch watch YouTube shorts. And then she's like, <sighs> and like, whatever. Like, she's obviously mad because I've just, like, humbled her in front of, like, this live chat. Anyways, but I'm like, girl, like, sit down. Like, who do you think you are? I hate people who are entitled like that. Like, it's so annoying. Anyways, and so my live starts, and I, it's, like, my typical intro, like, hey, guys, like, this is a $5 commission for... <laughs> and she goes in the chat, $5 skull emoji. And I'm like, girl... Stop being a pick me in my live chat, please. Go away. Anyways, and so the toasties come in clutch and they're like, um, why are you being so rude? Like it's worth five dollars. If you don't think my JVX are worth five dollars, that's fine. Don't order. Okay? Go order from somebody else. But I feel like five dollars is worth my time. Anyways, she's like in the live chat, like yapping, like, um, it's not worth five dollars. This is definitely not worth five dollars. I mute her. I'm just like, girl, shut up! Okay? Be quiet. You are so annoying. And so I hit this little button that's like mute from channel. Boop. And all of her messages just disappear. They're gone. Whoop. Off the channel. And this one person was like, oh, bro just got called out by toast. But it was like, I wasn't even trying to embarrass her or be rude, but like, 
get the hint. Like, you can't just come into my live chat while I'm, like, premiering my content and be like, sorry, like, do you guys know who I am? Like, I'm actually, like, kind of, like, a really big deal. If you feel the need to tell people you're a big deal, you're not a big deal. Obviously, Charlie D'Amelio isn't going out being like, guys, like, do you know who I am? She's famous enough to the point where people know who she is, okay? I don't go into other people's live chats and be like, do you guys, like, know who I am? Like, my video last week got, like, 20,000 views. Like, that's, that's so weird. And just, like, Girl, like, sit down. You are not that important, okay? Like, your subscriber count means nothing to me. I'm sorry. The influencers that I cannot stand the most are the ones who are like, yeah, guys, like, I literally have, like, a YouTube plaque, so I'm, like, better than you. Girl, I don't care if you have a YouTube plaque. There are so many amazing underrated creators that just don't have a lot of subscribers. There are so many amazing creators in our Gilded server that just don't have a lot of subscribers, and that's, unfortunately, the sad truth. But, like, if you're sitting here content farming, like you're not even putting effort into half your content, you're just reposting screenshots from Twitter and stuff, like, girl, there's a difference between making long form content and earning subscribers and just short spamming stuff that is mindless. It doesn't have any originality. Like you're just copy and pasting the next thing that somebody posted. I'm sorry, but this whole thing had me worked up because I'm like, girl, like, where did you get your ego from? Like, where is this coming from? And I look afterwards because I'm like, am I being too harsh? No. This person seems like they're young. Like, they posted some, like, video on YouTube Shorts the other day. Um, and it looks like they're, like, a kid. So, obviously, don't go attack them if you know who this is. And don't be rude. But, like, if you're a kid and you're acting like this, like, bro, please humble yourself. Please learn the ways of the world. Like, nobody cares in real life if you have 500,000 subscribers. I don't care if you have 500,000 subscribers. That doesn't mean I'm going to ignore everybody else in my live chat who's been supporting me for months. And you can just sit in my live chat and be like... I don't even watch this girl, but like, I'm really important, so you should be really grateful I'm here. Like, girl, leave. Leave, okay? I don't need you here. Anyways, with that being said, it's just like a funny little story time because like, what? I hate people who act like this. It's just so annoying. There's lots of influencers that act like this. There's some influencers that I've met that are massive, like 2 million subscribers, 3 million subscribers, and they're the most humble people on the planet. They are so kind. One of them even friended me, like on Roblox. Like, these people... The people who are actual influencers and are, like, confident in themselves will not be, like, stuck up and rude. Like, you know, it's the people who, like, are worried that people won't recognize them that are usually rude and nasty and unkind. So, anyways, with that being said, moral of the story, nobody cares how many subscribers you have, okay? I treat everybody equally. So, please get over yourself and stop acting like you're better than everybody else. Anyways, with that being said, if you guys based around video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.